Hi there, this is Tag Smith and I want to shoot a quick video for people who are looking for business cards to promote and expand their business. Um, I've been in the network marketing industry for close to four years now. There's a picture of me and um, I want to share some experiences I've had uh, building my business with business cards and other strategies as well. So uh, I'm guessing if you're looking for business cards to promote your network marketing business, chances are you're still using the traditional methods uh, to build your business. And what I mean by traditional methods are, um, you know, the face-to-face, -face, uh, present to people at coffee shops, one-on-one. -on -one. And this honestly is how I built my network marketing business. Uh, to the point where I could go full time and it took over two years using the face-to-face -face traditional methods uh, but one of the strategies I want to share with you with business cards is this there's really two types of cards that you can get the first being a company specific card so and this is probably what you are thinking to get um, the good thing about these cards is that you know you'll be able to share with prospects or show people what company you're working with uh, there's you know everything is laid out right there and it looks fairly professional I'm guessing that's one of the reasons why you want a business card is to be able to share with people what you're doing and to make it look like hey this is this business is real and I'm working with a reputable company I, I know that was one of the reasons why I bought uh, business cards to promote to promote my business and um, but here's another okay s sorry first of all we'll talk about some of the downsides of having a company specific uh, business card and that being that someone can just go on the internet and do all the research for themselves and come to a decision whether they'd like to be have any part in your company or not so you know the good and the bad, well it's great to get exposure and to um, start building the awareness of what you're doing and who you're working with. The bad is that people will jump to their own conclusion and you and I both know that you know there's a lot more information about a certain company than we can share with them in just five minutes or that you know that they might be able to find on the website because the website never really gets at what they really want you know they'll just look at the products they'll look at the company and sometimes it's a bit overwhelming so instead the other option uh, to having a business card but still have a business card is having what's called a recruiter card and basically um, it's a card that has your name your contact information and you can say something like you're an international recruiter for entrepreneurs something like that uh, you know this can come off a little bit corny but if it says international recruiter your name a professional looking logo and you can actually meet prospects and say hey you know what I'm building an international business I'm looking for the right people to work with um, contact me if you're interested and make sure of course that you get their contact information as well but um, people don't always use this method because they feel like it's a little bit deceiving and I can see why because you know obviously you're not offering all the information up front so that's one of the re reasons why I don't use that method anymore but another reason why and this is I mean this is a really powerful lesson that I'm going to share with you right now and that is that instead of just walking around handing out business cards leaving the house this is one thing I absolutely hated and you can imagine I went full-time in my network marketing business when I just moved to a new town uh, only two three months prior to uh, going full-time in my business so I didn't know too many people and building with the traditional methods it can be difficult to build a network marketing business if you don't know too many people in your area so I had to find new ways to build and market my business but one of the things I was never comfortable with I hated was leaving the house with the intention of prospecting people I never was comfortable with that and to be honest I don't know about you but I know that there are many people out there who do not like having that feeling that weight on their shoulder that they're going out there business cards in hand hoping to meet people who might qualify for the business and build a relationship with the intentions of someday 
uh, I guess, signing them up into their business. There's not too many people who are attracted to that way of building the business, even though this is, I guess, the most taught way of you know building a network marketing business. We're taught to make a names list of our friends, our family, everyone. Don't discriminate at all and just start approaching everyone. And what I would suggest is this is a fatal mistake, thinking that everyone is your prospect. I've, I've actually written a report on the seven fatal mistakes of a network marketer, and this is one of them. I believe that people, us, as network marketers, we feel that we have to approach everyone because we don't know ways to market our business. Now, when I say market, I mean attract people who are looking for what we have to offer. And this is one of the things about business cards is that, you know, it's good to have, certainly, because if someone asks, you know, like to stay in contact with you, yeah, absolutely, you should have something to hand off to them or at very least get their contact information and email them. <laughs> but um, I want to share a strategy with you of how you can build an online presence and how you can attract targeted prospects using one online strategy and that is to write articles. If we have a look over here at eZine Articles, this is a great site if you're looking to get targeted traffic and, and again what I mean by targeted traffic is people who are looking for what you have to offer so if you are promoting your home based business you can write an article targeting people who are looking for answers about a home based business you can then sign up for an account you can see that if I search tag Smith I've already done this oh okay okay so I'm actually my computer is not connected to the internet right now but if you were to look up tag Smith you'll see that I have different articles written and they're targeting prospects who would be interested in what I have to offer so you can do the very same thing now one of the things about business cards is again you're just hoping that you run into someone who mentions that they're looking for more income or that they're looking for another job and that you can spark a conversation around your business opportunity what I would suggest is that someone who is looking for more income is not a qualified prospect alright in other words people who just want more money that does not mean that they have the right mindset they have the drive to run a home based business if you've been in the industry for any time now you'll know that there are some people that you simply do not want to have to work with and what we need to do as network marketers is learn strategies on how to target on how to communicate with people who are looking for what we have to offer alright so I hope that helps um, give you some ideas on how you can build your business using business business cards there's basically two strategies you can have a company specific card or you can have a recruiter card and then build a relationship based on what they're looking for and go from there and there's another strategies and many many more on how to attract people who are looking for what you have and what I would suggest is you know you should have another option of how to build your network marketing business instead of feeling like you have to join new groups go to meetings go to seminars or even leave the house at all with the intentions of prospecting building this business full-time I know very well that that is not what I have to do and I was never comfortable with it so now knowing other strategies I don't do it I'd like to share those strategies with you on the next page I share with you the seven fatal mistakes that I've made as a network marketer so click on the link on this page it's uh, probably to the top right there and I'll share with you the seven fatal mistakes that I've made while building my business and quite honestly I wish someone has had um, shared this with me before when I first got started in my network marketing business it's taken me you know a few years to figure these things out so I hope this has helped you we'll talk soon